Hello everybody, welcome to a rather unusual Pixelmator tutorial here on Touch Plus. My name is Sebastian van der Velde, and as you see the unusual part of this tutorial is that we have iPhoto open and not Pixelmator. What will we be demonstrating today? Well, today we are going to make Pixelmator the external editor for iPhoto, which means that I can choose one of my images from my iPhoto library and open it directly in Pixelmator for editing. Let's take a look at how this is done. By default, when we select an image and click on edit, we are brought to iPhoto's own editor, like here. But we can also choose to open our image in an external editor by control clicking on the image thumbnail and choosing edit in external editor. In our case, the external editor is OS10's own preview app. But we can change this to another image editor if we want to like our favorite image editing app, Pixelmator, of course. We can do this by going to the iPhoto Preferences. We open the Advanced tab and there we see the setting Edit Photos, which is now set to In iPhoto. Let's open the pull-down menu and click on Preview. We can now choose another image editor of choice from the final window, which in our case will be Pixelmator. What happens now is that the settings got changed to edit photos in Pixelmator. When our settings look like this, it means that when I close the Pixelmator preferences and choose the edit button in iPhoto, Pixelmator will open the image right away. Some will actually want this to happen, but others not. There are two ways around this. We can either leave the setting as it is and control click on our image thumbnail and choose edit in iPhoto from the menu that appears, like this. Or we can go back to the iPhoto preferences and tweak the edit in option one more time. You see that when I open the little menu again, then in Pixelmator is marked as the default editor, but when we click on in iPhoto, we change the default editor to iPhoto. Meaning that when we now close the preferences and click on the edit button, that we get presented with the iPhoto editor again. Control clicking on our image thumbnail and choosing Edit in External Editor will get Pixelmator launched with our image opened. Let's edit our image in Pixelmator. I choose the Crop tool and crop away that what appears to be a chimney or a rain pipe. Before we go on, let's take a look at the title in the document window. By default, Pixelmator converts all images into the Pixelmator document format, if they weren't in the Pixelmator document format yet. But, when you open Pixelmator with an image from iPhoto, this behavior changes a bit. Here is what is important to know. If the image you open in Pixelmator is stored in your iPhoto library as a raw file, then Pixelmator will open this image into a new Pixelmator document with the same name. A RAW file is the image file that comes directly from your camera without your camera having converted it to a JPEG or TIFF file. Pixelmator cannot edit directly on RAW files. So when we close our document window, Pixelmator will then give us the option to save a document somewhere on a hard drive in the Pixelmator file format. In order to get our image into iPhoto, we would have to open the Share menu and choose Add to iPhoto. This will open iPhoto and makes it import the image. You will also end up with two images in iPhoto, the original RAW file and the edited file. Now here comes the tricky part. When our image is an image format that Pixelmator can read directly, like this example, Pixelmator doesn't import this image into a new Pixelmator document. It opens the image directly, and when we then close the document window, our image gets saved directly back into the iPhoto library again. Our original image will also be overwritten. No panic though, we can still go back to our original image by opening the images menu and choosing Revert to Original. Let's go back to Pixelmator. There is another way to open images from our iPhoto library and this is done directly from Pixelmator. In the View menu, we can choose Show Photo Browser. 
By default, the photo browser will let us choose images from our iPhoto library, our photo booth library, and our pictures folder. But by dragging this handle down a bit, the photo browser view changes, and we can drag and drop any folder with images on the photo browser to make it available directly in Pixelmator. Let's find our image back in the photo browser and open it by double clicking on it. Now we know that this image was a JPEG image that previously got saved back directly to iPhoto. Watch out now though, because as you see here in the document title, Pixelmator opens our image in a new Pixelmator document. We can check this by doing an edit. From the color adjustment section in the effects browser we choose black and white. I am going to increase the brightness and contrast a little bit and add a tiny bit of grain. Now when I close the document window, you see that we get asked to save our document. The document doesn't get saved back to iPhoto library directly, as we might have expected from a previous experience. So now our only option to get this image into iPhoto is importing it as a new image. Meaning that we can open the share menu and choose add to iPhoto. As previously mentioned, we will end up with two images in our iPhoto library. One original and an edited copy. This concludes this Touch Plus Pixelmator tutorial, where we have shown you how to set up Pixelmator as iPhoto external editor, and we have taken a look at how we can open Pixelmator from iPhoto with an image from an iPhoto library. We've seen how Pixelmator saves back images to iPhoto, and we've accessed our iPhoto library from within Pixelmator by using the Photo Browser panel. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you back next time. Take care.